Um, so thank you. Uh, today we will move on to chapter sustainers, um, which is strings. Um, it will be talking about string. Uh, and um, there are a cheat sheet here that are good, you know, um, working with them. Uh, let me think uh, if I can share my screen also about the... Uh, okay. So I think you can see my um, cheat sheet, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, let me go over. So um, the string, um, you know, chapter will be working on, you know, an example here um, on baby names package. Um, so <clears throat> everything in text or strings in R, um, you know, can be processed using what we call regular expressions. Um, but um, the package string R has, you know, uh, put a lot of stuff that, you know, you need not to use regular expression. You can use a lot of, you know, um, functions that encapsulate, you know, um, using uh, uh, regex. So when you install Tidy, uh, Tidy was string R is part of that. And there are a lot of, uh, you know, function from string R. So if we use string, so you can see string, C, the third dot, and, you know, many functions that start with string, SCR, string replace all many functions. So all of these functions, we cannot see them now, but the main idea is that, um, you know, um, if you want to do some, anything that relates to string, um, when you type string underscore, you will see, for example, replace all, maybe you want to replace some string with another string sort, if you want to store some string, string split, if you want to split something. So, you know, just typing on this, you may see some kind of, you know, string match, you can see that. So you can see like, you know, um, some kind of function that can allow you to achieve that. So we will be able now to see some of them in a bit. So, um, you know, how can you create a string? So, um, there are many ways to create a string also, you know, um, if we have a single string here, um, we can just basically use um, a single O double code to include the string. So here we can see we use a double code and here we see we use a single code. So you can use anyone, but um, um, when you have an issue, for example, um, you know, um, you have not closed and closed the last phrase. For example, here, I want to type here, yeah, I'm good. But uh, I missed the last part of you know double code. When I put this, you can see plus sign. It means um, you know um, your uh, uh, pencil is asking you you made some mistake and you need to uh, you know um, uh, uh, you know refresh it. So this is it. Um, to create a single string, you can just use a single or double code. But also there are some preference um, when to use single code or double code. Uh, as you can see here, single code can be used for micro or less interchangeably with double code to create character. You can use anyone, but uh, they recommend using um, some recommendation here. Right, so there are many things also we call escape code. Um, you know, when you want to include, um, you know, um, for example, uh, forward slash or backslash, uh, what will happen? So for example, let me show this. So um, if we look at this, um, we can see that um, we want to include, you know, this double code. And now when I have this, um, let me show us what is double code now, cat. And um, yeah, so you can see what this is telling us is we are printing out this double code. So now for you to use any double code, you must use backslash. That is called escape character. This kind of stuff are called escape character. But anyway, we can also use this, um, you know, when I have this, what about this? So you can see here, the inside is double code, but the outside is single code. So let's see what will happen here. So I use only single code, single code, but the, I have a, this. So let me show us here, cat, we can see double code. So in essence, if you wanna use double the same double code, so you must use a box, um, you know, escape, code. but you can see here, I haven't used any escape character. Um, you know, but here also, if you want to use the same single code, you know, you must use. So these are what we call escape character. Um, here also, you can see what we want to, you know, print backslash only. So this is a backslash. So, so for you to use backslash, 
uh, because if I call backslash here, look at what will happen. So you can see backslash, it shows me the something here, right? But if I wanna see exactly what will happen, then I can put backslash in cat, it will show me here. But also you can use this three, um, this function from, uh, you know, three view, it allows you to see it. Um, so it's, so you can see it show you what happened. So these are what we call, um, you know, uh, escape character. Um, yeah, Abdul, uh, you don't wanna add something? Uh, yeah, and no, I think it, it, it's, 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 it's quite clear, yeah. All right, um, moving on, we can see what we call row string. So, um, you know, um, another thing is, um, you know, creating string um, with multiple backslash whatsoever is quite tricky. Um, one can basically use what we call, you know, row string, um, row string. So for example, here you can see a lot of, you know, we have um, a text and uh, we have the last part, but we have many other things inside. These are them, the, all of these, you can see them. So when we have this, um, we can print them here. I can see cat and I can have this. So you can see we have this all, everything, double code, everything here is inside of it. So what but this sorry, is- so, Sorry, what, what does this cat does? Because it's like, uh, it, it has not been mentioned in the chapters and I see you using it often, I don't know. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So, Cat is like print, right? Um, let me see. Ah, yes. Let me see. Cat. So, uh, output the object concatenate the presentation. Oh, okay, let's. Cat is suitable for producing output in a user defined functions. Mm. So but it's argument to character vector concatenate also you no know, line feed also. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's 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 good to know. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so um, so in essence, if we want to use this, that is what we call row, um, you know, row string where we have this, and you know, you can type everything here inside, and uh, everything we type here, this is good, you know. No, no, what do I have? Oh, okay, I um, I, I think you have to close it with the 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 code with the quotation here. Yeah. yeah. So we can see here everything inside, um, you know, is now. So that is what we call F string in R in Python. So this yeah. is somehow looks like Python F string, you know what I mean? So um, in Python, we have something like this, F dash, something like this, and we put, you know, um, everything as well. Here we type it. So everything inside is also like thing. So this, um, you know, is this is like uh, F, I think in Python it's called F string. So here we have what we call R. Um, you know, row text. So you want to put the row text. So you don't care about all these, you know, concatenation, all these stupid things inside. If you want you, if you want them to come out, you can just put them the way they are. So that's called row string. Okay. Um, um, also, we have other commands, special characters, such as new line here. So um, if we look at these guys, we can see, for example, um, you know, we have one, two here. And here, when we run this, you can see one and you can see two because this is a new line. Yeah. One, um, you know, this is tab, you know, and this is, you know, this mu, and this is, you know, emoji, emoji sign. And these are, you but know- the, the, the new line symbol is also the same as, in Python, it's also slash n. Yes, 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 in Python, it's slash n, right? Um, new line, right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah. I'm I, not mistaken, I, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So these are also some kind of special characters in Python. I mean, sorry, in R that we can be aware of them. Um, you know, th these are called, you know, um, ASCII characters. So for example, you can see here, we have this 100, When we run this, it give us hello world. This means that, um, um, you know, this one is, ask high character that will be H. This 1.5 is, you know, so yeah. Um, when we have this, X followed by up to two numbers is in hexadecimal notation as well. So sometimes you will be seen like this, X, 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 followed by two numbers. So when you see this followed by two numbers, it's what we call, is representation is hexadecimal notation. Um, but this one is octal notation. Like if you see without, you know, uh, number, but you see only three numbers, only three numbers, backslash followed by up to three numbers. That is backslash, three numbers, 
um, octal in ASCII character. Um, you know, backslash with two numbers followed by X is what hexadecimal notation ASCII character. So there are different representations. You can see the same thing. You can see the same thing. It's just different uh, notation on how this, but this goes via, goes back to how computer represent, um, you know, stuff in memory, the different representation. Um, you know, uh, but when do you use Unicode? Um, so this kind of Unicode, you know, uh, if, you know, you are using non-Latin Latin characters. So if people are not using Latin, because this English, these are Latin characters, but like Chinese and all other stuff, they are using non-Latin characters then that's when these are quite useful to use something, um, you know, um, Unicode character. So, yeah, so this is about Unicode. Uh, they co uh, create a lot of kind of confusion when you are not dealing with, uh, you know, um, Latin character. But if you are dealing with Latin character, English, and then you are fine, uh, you don't have much trouble with that. And also now everything in R is read with UTF-8, which is a standard uh, character, which is a standard now for reading and writing files. Okay, so creating many strings from data. So let's look at it here. Um, we can create many strings from uh, data. So for example, here we have this X, Y. We have, you know, um, let me see that here. All right, so here we can see we have X, Y, we have X, Y, Z, we have hello, you know. Um, so there is a function that can, you know, um, put, um, you know, characters into a single uh, vector, then we have string C. So as we talk about saying that uh, we have um, all function that started with LTR underscore. So this one, we have that. And we can see when we run this, we have this. Um, yeah, so we can see here X, Y, Z is concatenated. X, Y, Z, hello, John. So this just like string C. What it does, it you know, take any number of vectors as argument and returns as a back character vector. So yeah, it takes any character as this and return them as a single character. Um, this is also similar to this function in base R test. Um, the car these these functions, so they are similar. Test base, you can see them. It's still it's working the same thing. Um, um, if we have this function. For example, if I have this, I have this. Can you see first one, two, up to this? But yep. what about if I have the, um, okay. Okay, I have this for this, and maybe I have collapse this. Can you see what we have? Yeah, yeah. So um, this, you know, um, if we have this example collapse, look at it, it means nothing inside, right? It's empty, yeah. 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 So th this thing also is, is very similar to this, but it's designed to be used mutate. So the only difference is that this thing is designed to be used mutate, like with tidy device style, but this one cannot be used with tidy device style. So for example, what they're saying here, for example, let's assume we have this, um, you know, um, maybe where is this? Okay, so we have this, uh, yeah, this file. Okay, we have this, we see this, this, right? And what we want to do is we want to create another column which say high flora, right, high flora. So. You can see here yeah, we have our data frame. We can say mutate, right? So we mutate, we say greeting, we create a new column, then string concatenate, use high, put a space, then the name. Um, yeah. What's the new column, then put this. So you can see here we can have this. Can you see that? But the thing is, yeah. we, can, we cannot use the, this paste. Um, that's the reason why. Like, uh, uh, yeah. So we cannot use this paste as I show you here. We cannot use this paste to do to achieve this because it because it's uh, base R function. Um, oh, look at it, it looks like it works. Yeah, it, it, it works, you know. <laughs> it works. Huh? Yeah, it, it works. Work. It works with the mutate. Yeah. But, maybe, maybe, maybe it might not always work. Maybe. 
uh, is very similar to the base, but it's designed to be used with mutated by X, obeying the usual tidy by rule by. Oh, oh, okay. By recycling and forgetting missing values. Oh, okay. So, yeah. yeah. yeah so I, I think the, the the problem the issue is um tidy um the the string the, the string C. Will, yeah, we we'll follow cycling and propagating missing values. You know, um, over usual tidy by for recycling. So, for mm -hmm. example. Okay, let me show you something. Uh, let me see an example. Uh, uh, anyway, um, I don't have the example on my head. Um, there is another one missing, but let's see what this guy does. Um, anyway. Oh, but this NA is no missing value. <laughs> Uh, how do you put missing value? Oh. Anyway, let's move on. Anyway, um, I cannot say exactly now, uh, but as we can see here, there is um, different between these. It I will follow some um, recycling and propagating issue with study bus. Okay, um, yeah. Okay, so we also have another function called string glue. Um, Single. So what this function does basically is that, uh, you know, um, it is part of what we call glue. So there is a function, there is a package in R called glue. So if you come here, package, um, we can look at glue. We can see glue. This is a function called glue. Um, it is part of R, um, but they extend the glue package to have some, uh, you know, string glue that is, from the name glue to put something together, right? So here we can see um, we have this, um, you know, um, oh, you see the same, the same example here we have, the, um, you know, the pass, pass and uh, uh, string concatenate. So here we are using string glue. So you can see string glue high, but this, what- It looks string... very similar to the, the, the string uh, concatenate. Exactly. Yes, 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 yes. But what happened here is that you just put string glue, but uh, the variables you have, you put them here. So this is how it works in Python as well. Um, this is how F string in Python works. You do like this F string in Python. So mm. any variable that comes within here will be replaced. So this string glue, uh, glue is some like Python, um, you know, I mean, so, so if you look at them here, we can have, you know, library um, glue. I can have this blue library. I can have, I have another example here. You can see Eric and you can see age here. If I have age, another variable here, which is this, then I can say glue, not string glue. Can you see the difference? Not string glue. So when I say glue, that is put all this here. Hello, put the name, Eric, you are age, you are 18. So when I run this guy, you can see, hello, Eric. Ah. You are... Oh, that's, that's interesting. Yeah, so. Um, this is the package glue. Um, can you see my screen? Yeah, yeah, I'm seeing, I'm seeing your screen. Okay, so this is a package called glue. Glue offers interpreted string literals that are small, fast, or so ever. And you can see it, you know, uh, string glue, you know. Yeah, so uh, they basically make some function out of string um, to use that um, string glue, to extend glue function to string glue uh, to make here. I don't know if you yeah, want to add something. I oh, know uh, this is quite uh, clear. Okay. So we have what we call string flatten. Um, you know. So if you look at this one here, we have this. Um, we have different kind of string manipulation with string R cheat sheet. We have joined and split. So what we are doing now is this string concatenate. We have what we call string flatten. Can you see that string flatten? Yeah. Now. String platinum does is so we have this string, we have these, these, we have these. Now let's run this. Okay, let me see this. So you can see string flatten. String flatten. Can you see that you have vector x, y, z? And uh, we have this string platin. You can see them. Um here you can see string platin this. What is a separator, comma? This separator. Yeah. Um, we can have this string platin and and you can say the last last is and can you see that you can specify and 
So this is same as paste past um, the other one that I show you, this one, you can see because you can provide, because this R base R, you can provide this. So here with this, for example, we can say, okay, X, Y, and you can provide your collapse parameter. Um, for example, you can see this, you can see them, you can see screen platinum is the same. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so, but this string uh, is, um, you know, uh, base R, but this is, you know, uh, tidy bar style. Um, so string platinum is really good in the sense that you can use it, for, you know, for, um, you know, um, you know uh, uh, in some ways to, let's see this. Um, we can see here we have a file. No, let me run this guy. Let's see here. Okay, so we have this, um, Carmen, this was Seba. And now what we want to do is you can see here, I have Carmen, I have Carmen, but Carmen means I have banana, I have apple, right? So can I have a single line Carmen with banana, comma, apple, comma, whatsoever? Now we need, we can, we can use summarize function, right? So we summarize, you can see that the data frame, group by name, we group by Carmen, so it's Carmen and summarize all the fruit and flatten the fruit by comma. You understand what I mean? So, yeah, yeah so you can see Carmen, we have banana, apple, Marvin, Nectar, Teres, Teres, you know. So this is really cool. I, you know, I've been using this stuff, but uh, I forgot about this function. I don't know about this function, but uh, when I revise this chapter, I, you know, I find it so useful um, in some way. So you can see that then we, we have another string doc. Can you see string doc? So remove duplicate. So for example, here I have this, you know, um, you know, I have this fruit, but you can see I have apple, apple, but maybe you want to return something unique. So you can use string dot, it will re uh, remove, so duplicate. remove the duplicate. Yeah, so that's it. So you can see this is join and split. So if you want to do a lot of stuff on join and split, this is these are some of the you know, uh, you know, um functions that allow you to do that. Uh, but we, you can maybe, also maybe you could uh, later share the 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 the, the cheat sheet in the chat might be useful. Ah, cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So because it's really cool, like you know, you may not remember all these stuff. Yeah. The, yeah. All this stuff. Yeah. The cheat sheet allow you to just quickly go and you know see. Yeah. So um, now let's look go to the another one, which is basically um, you know, extracting data from string. Um, so you can extract data from string in many ways, um, you know, and uh, this uh, provide that to do that. Um, let's go through that, uh, which I believe they are new functions. I, I, I mean, I didn't know them until I revised this chapter, um, but let's look at what, how, they, what, how to use them uh, because they are not even in these, you know, um, cheat sheet. Uh, so I quite believe maybe they are new because they are not here. So let's look at them. So we have the first one separating intro. So for example, let me show you this guy. So, um, okay, oh, why this guy is not going? So we have DF1. So you can see we have rows, um, you know, A is A, B, C, D, E, F. But sometimes you wanna put all these guys to be in a single column that is separated into rows, that is separating into rows. So, what we can do is we can call the function, um, you know, this one, you can see separate longer, de longer delay. You put, you know, which column we want to separate, which is X. What is the delimiter they use is comma, right? We put the delimiter. When we run this guy, you can see the separating into rows. This is called separating into rows. So we use this one. Um, another thing is, you know, um, we can use what you call separate longer positions, separate longer. So what this separating into low intros, but this separate longer positions, um, you are still separating into longer, but by positions. What do we mean by that? So let's look at this guy. So if we look at this guy, we can see that um, we have one, two, one, 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 three, one. There is no comma. There is nothing that separate them. All like this one here, where you have this, you know, um, you know, like this, um, where we provide that. Here, they don't have that. 
But what we want to do is we want to spread by position. Like for example, after every one figure or after every two numbers or after everyone, that is separate longer position. So for us to do that, we can use this approach um, where we can basically, you know, um, we can call this. So how do you separate? We want to separate by every, after every one, one number. So we can say sub, do you have to separate longer position X, which is a column. What, what about the width one? So let's look at this. So you can see it's separate. I have to have one, two, one, one, one. Can you see that? Right? Sure. Oh, yeah. um, what about if we say, you know, separate by width two? Can yeah. you see that? Yeah, so that's what we call separate longer position, but you can also do separation into columns, right? But here we, we do, we separate into longer, into one, you know, um, a single column, right? We have one column, um, you know, the uh, chunk into a single row so that we want to flatten them into a single column. But what about if you want to, you know, flatten multiple rows in, uh, um, I mean, into column? So looking at this guy, we can see they are basically one column, right? X. But I want to pick this guy to be on one column. I want to pick this guy to be one column and this guy in one. That is, I want to create three columns from a single column. So that we can use this function as well, similar to that, um, separate wider delim. If you look at this one, um, it said separate longer because you are separating into rows into column. Many columns because here we have, we have three rows, but we separate them into longer, making like eight ro rows. So we separate longer delim. But here now we what we are calling separate wider delim. That is separate; they are delimited. So what uh, this is the x the column. This is a delimiter dot because you can see this is a dot and names. What are the names you want to create the column? The three columns. I want the first to be called, the second to be addition. So this means this one here. The first one will be called, the one will be under addition, 20 will be here. So if you run this guy, you can see we have three columns. <laughs> Similar to separate into longer position, we also have separate, um, you know, wider position. Um, similar to what we have seen. Um, so in this case, we can see we have this guy, which we have the four. We can see this, it's not available. There is nothing that separate them, right? So in that case, we can basically call the same function. Similarly, um, you know, you can see the width um, here equals to four, age equals to two, state equals. So what this means here equals to four. Pick the first four, age two, pick the two, state pick the two, last two. So when we run this guy, you can see. All right, so I don't know if you wanna add something. Yeah, I'm, I, I mean, these things, you know, make, makes it easier, especially if you are cleaning your data or stuff like this. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, they could, they could make, it your, your, make you more efficient, some stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, this is really helpful, I'm telling you, because I quite use them often. And, uh, you know, if you don't know them, you know, um, you literally spend a lot of time, you know, I mean, all right, okay. Um, but there are some issues um, we know with, they are going to widen problems. Um, so these are the issues. So um, let's have them here. We have this, um, you know, uh, we have this DF and um, we can see that. So um, I want to widen this to be more columns, but you can see here I have three input, three. Now, if you want to want to create three columns, but this one here, I have two columns. Here, our one column. So how can I create three columns while some of the, imp some rows are two columns, some are one. That is the organizing widening problem. So for us to do that, um, if we say, let's do that, when you call this, you can see it will give you an error because um, expected three pieces in each column of X, but here I have two, here I have one. So, but one, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So for you to do that, um, the bring something called debug. Um, so, um, you know, we can call something like this. And now what you need to do, delim. You say, sir, what is the delim? Is this names X, Y, D, but too few. They introduce two things, what is called too few, um, too few and too many. Too few. Yeah, and I, I think it even indicates it in the error message, you know? Yes, exactly. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. They, they are them. So now if you run this guy, you can see um, too few where it is not available to put any A. Can you see yeah. that? Something like that. So. Yeah, so, and the other one, and another way around, if you have too many, you can use the too many. So that's, um, you know, 
uh, um, you know, about these uh, dealing with these issues. Okay, so let us um, now um, we can be able also to work with you know um, letters um, to be able to deal with many other things. So let's look at manage le managing length. So if you look at this cheat sheet, we have manage length, we have string length, string part, string truncate, string trim, string splash. Let's look at them, um, Abdul. Uh, now, if we have this guy, um, okay. So if I have this guy, I have string inside it. I want to use string lens. It will show me what is the lens of this. I have one string, which is one. R for data science, I have 18 character. NA is NA. So string length is also count the empty character. So here I have R, I have, um, it's like it's even counting like the spaces. Yes, exactly. Yes. So here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. You can see that. So it yeah, counts yeah. the um, you know, empty. So this is string length. It you know allows you to count, you know, the string length. Um, you know, this is an example where it shows, you know, we can do some other stuff with string lens. Yeah, so um, this is DB names, um, data frame. Uh, names, these are the names. So the count, baby names, count, lens, string lens name. So they just uh, show it here. So basically um, they are showing us how to use, um, you know, uh, string lens. But we also have what we call subset and function. So if we have this guy, um, you know, we have X now, so it this. So we can do what you call string subset. In. Um, for example, you wanna take, you know, um, the, okay, let me show us this. Take the first, to the third. So here you can see we have up, we can see here, banana, you know, this is what we call, uh, you know, subsated. So you can see that, um, uh, okay, we don't have it. Oh, this is a string subset. Can you see that string subset? It's uh, sort of similar to like indexing, you know, in a, in, a, in a sense. Yeah, yeah, it does something like that if you wanna, but this one you can see is, you know, um, yeah, um, it, it can be used with you know uh, in in that diverse format like you know in all the column or so yeah it's just like that but you can also use negative to index from the uh, last part of it so you can see here is minus three minus one so you can see here it's like when you use negative it starts from the last part so you can see here um you know yeah so this is uh indexing uh you know uh, strings of certain from the last uh, position Um, also, it doesn't fall. Um, it doesn't fail. In the, so you can see here, I have only one string and I put one to five. So what will happen? It just return what it has. So no, I won't fail if the string is too short. It will just return as much as possible. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We also have what we call string padding. So for example, now, um, you know, uh, um, okay. So look at this. I have hardly, which is only a string. Okay, only as oh no, I don't need that. Okay, look at it. So string pad, maybe you want into more space. So we have, you know, hardly, but how many spaces do I want to include introduce the thirty to the left? So this is it. Um, if I, I want to introduce to the right, you can see this is called string oh, yeah. pad. If I want to introduce to the boss, that is this and here. So this is called string padding. Um, also, this one here, long string is not changed. So for example, here you can see string part three. Yeah. Okay, we also have what we call string truncate. So for example, here I have X here. Can you see X? Mm -hmm. And here, 
um, you know, I can do what we call string truncate. So let's look at what string truncate does. So you can provide how many characters you want to truncate. So this is it. String part, you can see string part, string truncate. Um, you know, you can see so I, you know, from where from the right, truncate this 20. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Then we also have what we call string trim. So for example, now if you look at this guy, um, you know, um there is you know a space here and there is also tab here but you want to have only the content the text sometimes um you may not know this space may cause a problem when you are doing analysis so it is quite good to trim everything to have so you can see now you have only the text all the white space and everything is now removed right so yeah. for example now if you have this you can have this, this is your X as a thing. And we have this. So when I have this X, you can see I have this, you know, whatsoever. And this is so you can use that. But we also have what you call, um, also the string trim, um, you know, uh, can be used on left or right whatsoever. So here you can see, I can have um, uh, the side. You can see side, you can see side. Yeah. Okay, so you can see the side you want to do, you can specify the side. So where is the side? If I can say, if I say right, for example, you can see it only is tri trim from here. But if I say left, you can see it trim here, but by default, it is both. So when you have here, by default, it is both. You can see it's trim everything. So by default, you don't need to put what it does. So it will just do with that. But we have another good one, which is called stream squash. So stream squash, um, what it does is basically, so no, okay, I have this an example. So stream squash, um, it remove any space in your string. You know what I mean? So for example, here, um, if we look at it here, the string first before string squash, look at this. It has spaces here. It has white spaces here. It has new lines here it whatsoever. But when you call this one string squash, it will remove everything and it will leave you only with, you know, uh, the content of the text. You want to add something, Abdul? No, no, fine. It's good. It's good. All right. Okay. Um, so I think uh, that's for that. Um, uh -huh. uh, okay, there's another function. I didn't know. I, I want to see. Still grab. I will see. That. Um, yeah. So um, then the discuss at the last part of the chapter, they discuss about, you know, encoding issue where um, more or less what this chapter and this book were talking about is English text. Um, and English text is Latin um, character, which is um, you know pretty simple. There is no problem or issues with Latin character. Um, but when you are working with non-English characters such as Chinese and you know um, uh, Arabic, I'm not sure if uh, 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 yeah, Arabic also is not. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So you may face some challenges and uh, you need to, you know, make sure that um, encoding uh, is according to order. In your country, do you use Arabic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. in Gambia we do. Ah, you use, in Gambia you use Arabic also. Yeah, we, we like have two systems. We have the Arabic system and also the conventional uh, oh. English. Wow, okay. So a lot, of, a lot of us are go through the conventional English system. So we barely have just the basic Arabic. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um. So yeah, you can see um. You know um. Uh, yeah. When we have this, um, we can see like um. Hardly. Uh, when we call character to row, it will print. You know, for forty-eight. So all these numbers they are represented inside computer with some numbers. Um. So, but now what is being used? Is, is that the the computer saves these characters as numbers or what? Oh, good question. So, uh, 
these numbers are called hexadecimal numbers. These are hexadecimal numbers. And each letter in mm -hmm. that you can that you see here um, in computer inside, because computer does not understand anything. It does not understand what is H, it does not understand what is A, it does not understand what is B. So what computer does understand is some kind of representation, bit. So like zero, sequence of zeros and one and whatsoever. But all those sequence of zeros and one can be represented in some format like hexadecimal notation or whatsoever. So this H is represented as hexadecimal notation as 48. So that's why each of these hexadecimal numbers is represented one letter. For example, is this and so on. The mapping from hexadecimal number to character is called encoding. So mm -hmm. from here to represent this, you encode a number to represent character, to represent something that we human being use. That process is called encoding. So, um, yeah. yeah. So, and this kind of encoding, and this case, the encoding is called ASCII. So because there are different kind of encoding scheme, right? There are different kind of encoding scheme, ASCII. This is one of the standard encoding scheme because um, we want to have some kind of standardization across the world. Everyone is using the same thing. So if uh, in China or in, in England, they, they use ASCII, that is H is equal to this in hexadecimal. So everywhere in the world, they use this encoding scheme so that we can understand everyone when we communicate over the internet. But if England uses different encoding scheme and Gambia use different encoding scheme- That would bring well, a lot of confusion, yeah. Yes, yeah, so that's um, you know the kind of uh, standard. So, ASCII does a great job of representing English character because it is American standard code for information intelligence. Can you see that? So in yeah. all those days since then, so people now adopted this to be the information. So there are many different uh, encoding schemes. So this kind is important. We have Latin and we use for European language and Latin to ISO was for Central European. So you can see this different kind of, you know, but now um, UTF-8 is used everywhere and, you know, yeah. So, for example, now, if you want to read this, um, um, this text, uh, when you read this CBS, okay, let me show us. This text, and I use read CSV. You can see, I read, the, because you can see this one here, um, it does not, it, it still uses me, you, you can see that it does not represent, you know, take care of this because I quite um, met with this kind of problem because I'm working with some uh, Portuguese stuff. So um, you need to uh, put the, uh, the, 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 local, the encoding scheme because X1 contains some characters which are not in, you know, uh, are not in UTF-8, you know, they are in Latin one, which is this, you can see that. Uh, a Latin one, the by okay, no, there are two different encodes for Europe. Latin one, aka was used for Western European languages, and Latin two was used for Central European languages. So if I want to read X1, I need to provide the local, that is the encoding, locally encoded Latin one. So when I read this one, can you see El Nino was particularly bad this year? But when I didn't provide that, you can see that El Nino, can you see that it produces this kind of garbage character? So we need to make sure that what kind of, you know, um, uh, encoding we have. Uh, I think another chapter will show us like to even detect encoding scheme. Oh yeah, here we have increased a guess encoding. So you can see it, guess encoding, will guess which kind of encoding. So you can see um, it is this 0 0.41. So I also at, at 5.9, where is this one? Yeah, yeah, at, at 5.91, we can see that Latin one. So since it guess, it tells you the confidence what kind of encoding that since it is I am um, this one so we need to put Latin one whenever we want to you know uh, try to read uh, you can see that we need to put the encoded Latin one um, I don't know if I'm making sense of though you know this the, the, the way you explain it is quite clear I, I've not I've not uh, seen this before but you, the explanation is quite clear okay so um so you can see that encoding are a rich and a complex topic we have only got the surface here. If you'd like to learn more, we can remember um, reading this encoding explanation. So this is basically um, the something, um, yeah, about the encoding and uh, you can find more about the encoding. So yeah, so that's about this chapter. And um, you see, this is really, uh, I think uh, 
maybe oh okay i think in the other chapter they will discuss more about this string r stuff where we can see we have um, a lot of other stuff such as um, string detect or oh, regular expression so we have uh, the next chapter is regular expression so we'll be able to see all these other stuff um i will also be happy to uh, facilitate the next chapter which is regular expressions um yeah Oh, uh, have you signed anyone signing the chapter, Abdul? Uh, no, I, 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 no, I, uh, I, I haven't. Uh, okay, so let me check if anyone signed up the chapter. Uh, okay, nobody signed up the chapter. Um, uh, okay, I think uh, no meeting. Yeah, no meeting for the next two weeks, some, something like this. Ah. <clears throat> All right. Because of so, this daylight saving stuff. So I think we're going to meet from uh, like the, the first. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Huh. Okay, that's fine. Um yeah, I think that's 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 really that's really good for you. You know, you'll never have like more time. <laughs> so, yeah. By then I think I I even submitted my thesis, so I'll be much, you know, happy to do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So um yeah, okay. I I see like um you oh okay, you fill in your name, you wanna do web scrapping. Yeah, yeah, stuff like that. Okay. <laughs> And also functions. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, good. So see you, um, inshallah, next week. Yeah. Oh, week after then, right? Yeah, like two weeks. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, bye. Bye. bye.